cannabis, medical marijuana, if you may, is geared towards what? What, what can we expect when we have brought it down to the very serious, critical science, as I see that you're almost drilling down for? In my estimation, the only way to prove efficacy of the product is to do the deep dive into the human genome. The scientific community is telling us that the DNA does not change, but the RNA around the, the DNA does change. And uh, it's our goal to prove with the patient study that uh, what those changes are and uh, in what biomarker sets that we're seeing the changes happen. As it relates to your relationship with Buffalo, what kind of a timeline are we looking at? Um, what are your expectations? So the University of Buffalo brings several unique opportunities to us. One of them is that they had a study that had failed with a particular pharmaceutical. So they had assembled uh, an, international, uh, uh, an institutional review board, a uh, lead investigator, um, and a patient population. Uh, I did not know when we started that Buffalo was the hotbed in the United States for multiple sclerosis. And the lead investigator is in uh, the head of the consortium of multiple sclerosis in the state of New York. There's 22 centers and 10,000 patients assembled. She treats personally 3,000 of those patients. And we're looking specifically at a subpopulation to that MS population called primary progressive multiple sclerosis. And that's a, at a later age where you would get the disease and rapidly progress until you passed away. You believe medical marijuana, cannabis, if you may, can help in relation to this? Absolutely no question. Uh, we're seeing it in multiple places and seeing patients being treated, and, and the results are nothing short of miraculous. Why Jamaica? Well, Jamaica is uh, uniquely positioned in, in several points. One, for uh, the quality of the product. I mean, I've been in Jamaica for many years now, and uh, there's multiple products that you have here that just taste better than anywhere else. I mean, your vegetables, uh, mul multiple, multiple products. So uh, whatever makes it happen, whether it's the quality of the soil or the environment, then I know that the product ultimately will be superior coming out of Jamaica. That product has to be specific strains that are, are proving efficacy to the specific chronic disease sets. It's not just an idea of picking it off uh, uh, any strain and not having the science put behind it.